after friends and family shared stories, Fraser's brother stood in front of everyone and said he doesn't want his brother to die in vain. Much of this government's plans will be laid out in the spring budget. No date for that yet. Standing along the banks of the Assiniboine River, you can see the open water flowing. It's much of the same as you head further north. But now people in Emerson say refugees are using this abandoned building to illegally enter the country. Now, Boney says she'll be off for the next eight weeks as she recovers. As for the rut she fell in, it's still here. An extension cord like this could sell for as low as $6, but the thing is, it can't support a heavy load. Now, for the most part, it's stopped snowing, but winds will be gusting up to 60 kilometers an hour throughout the day, making this stretch of the Trans-Canada Highway to Brandon hard to clear. And what is clear is pure ice. We'll have more on what they're saying in a moment, but first, here's Global's Sheldon Rogers with the very latest on this homicide. The last stop on a late night bus route and the last stop a Winnipeg bus driver would ever make. It is a shocking story. Um, anytime a public servant is killed while working. In the heart of the University of Manitoba campus, police say 58 year old transit driver Irvin Jubal Fraser was stabbed to death. There was only one passenger left on his bus route. Law enforcement sources tell Global News there was a confrontation that was recorded on transit security cameras on board the bus and that confrontation escalated. Clearly we had a driver and a, and a passenger that were alone on the bus. I don't know what led up to uh, the confrontation. A 22 year old suspect was found nearby on the Red River and arrested shortly after stabbing the driver around 2 a.m. Hours later, students were back at school at the U of M. Just bizarre and shocked. I mean, never think something like that's going to happen here. I was really surprised because like, I thought Canada was like a peaceful country. When I come to school to study later at night, I mean, when it's dark, yeah, that definitely puts some fear in me. The university has confirmed the suspect was not a student and has no relationship with the school. Students want more security on campus so the public can access certain hotspots. I definitely think at night there should be some more security because I know that most of the buildings are just open 24 hours with no one watching. Well, truly shocking for both his family, the transit community, and of course the campus community, Sheldon. We want to bring you in now to ask what exactly the school is saying about safety. Yeah, the school says they're always working on improving campus security, and as of this hour, police haven't released the accused name or any of the charges he faces. Here's Global's Sheldon Rogers. Devastation after a fire in a Manitoba small town. You couldn't see anything. Jacob Boole relives the moment he watched his house go up in flames. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. If you see like this. Boole was getting ready for a Sunday skate with his 13 children in Kleefeld when he saw smoke in the garage. The smoke was like heavy. And, and hot. He rushed inside and told everyone to get out. Boole said there was so much smoke coming from the front of the house that most of the family had to come out the back door, down these patio steps, through the yard and the snow to the neighbor's house. Everyone is okay, but the house is destroyed. Another tragedy for a family who just lost their 19-year-old son two months ago to a car accident on Highway 52. What do you gotta do? Yeah. Yo, we gotta go through. The family is staying with Boole's brother-in-law temporarily. The two families combined have 26 people under one roof. His family and uh, we help uh, us each other because there is uh, there's no much relatives here. Boole and his family will soon move to the empty house next door until they find something more permanent. Just unbelievable. Yeah, it's everything. Kids gonna stay in the same school and. It's, it's, it's much easier for us. An online fundraising campaign has been started to help the family with the sudden loss. Sheldon Rogers, Global News.